All right. Um, how are we looking, you guys? Okay, so I, I guess this is it's confusing, but um, basically, I was just streaming on Twitch like a second ago. Uh, I guess it looks fine, huh? But yeah, I was streaming on Twitch a second ago, and like Twitch is fucked or something, you guys. Uh, unless it's my PC, but that's kind of what I'm ch checking right now. But basically, the audio was fucked. The the actual stream just was bad. It looked really bad, and I think it was Twitch, but I, I wasn't sure. Everything on my OBS end looked totally fine. And so, uh, how are we looking right now? Everything looks okay, I think. <clears throat> but tell me if things start to look a little weird, but I guess I'm streaming on YouTube now. <laughs> I was going to stream on, on, on Twitch, but... Okay, let's actually... Anyways, I guess uh, YouTube people get a bonus stream today. Yeah, comment Twitch L, dude. What was I even thinking streaming over there? But I, except I'm not totally convinced that it's fine. But anyways, yeah, Tom, thanks for the raid, dude, if, if you're somehow made it over here. But either way. Bingo practice matches, preparing for playoffs. Okay, well, hopefully that goes well. I'm rooting for him. I guess I'm rooting for everybody. I, I don't have favorites, but... Um, yeah, it looks fine, I think. Yeah, that's a Twitch issue, dude. I guess. Anyways, so what I was saying, <laughs> before we got so rudely interrupted. Um. Oh yeah, I found a nice cavalry cheese for this run. So this is to get poison moth flight. Uh, so, so yeah, that's good. And I was showing it off, but I don't know if anybody could see it, because... Which was ruining how it looked, but... I guess I'm, I'm not totally convinced yet, though, you guys. I Keep an eye out for it, but... So, so yeah, this guy, of course, he drops Poison Moth Flight. Um, which is nice to have on this run. Honestly, it's not, it's not like, game-changing, but it's just nice to have. And this guy's a lot of HP. Well, he has a lot of HP, and then also, obviously, we're on NG plus 7 with no upgraded weapons or anything, so... It takes a really long time to kill, and I was actually trying to decide whether it was worth killing him, killing him or not. Uh, but yeah, I found like a, what seems to be a good cheese for him, so. Yeah, I guess TwitchCon is happening right now, right? So everybody's on break and nothing works properly, apparently. Except I'm sure there's a better way to set this up. Okay, let's see if this works. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. See, that's an issue. Let's see. Yeah, the dog, man. Yeah, it's definitely not perfect. He's going to block him, actually. Yeah, that was an issue. I thought... I, maybe I didn't bait him over, though. I think I messed up. Let me rewind really quick. Um, I'm kind of in shambles right now. I don't have any of the notifications up. Uh, Peter, thanks for the donation, dude. I appreciate that. Let me just see. Did I forget to shoot or something? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot to... Wait, no, I didn't. I think I just didn't shoot it far enough. Or I was too slow. Yeah, there's probably a better way to do this, though. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but what else happened, dude? It's like whiplash right now, man. Um, I was saying some other stuff, I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember. Oh, yeah, there is the, uh, so there's the new news that Twitch is apparently going to allow simulcasting now, which basically means I'll be able to stream on Twitch and on YouTube at the same time. There's still some really just stupid arbitrary rules for it. Uh... It's like you're not allowed to have you know youtube chat on the screen at the same time you're not allowed to is there is there not a master run command up right now or did i forget to turn on the bot i think i forgot to turn on the bot yeah you're not allowed to like i, I don't know there's a few there's a few little conditions but um but so that like that's decent i i guess i'm not really sure 
Okay, good. We got him. Oh, I did not mean to shoot that. Oops. Okay. Let me turn on the bot. Get settled in right now because the disaster. But it's, I don't know. You guys should have seen what my stream looked like on Twitch earlier. Yeah, bot should be on in, in a second. You got to give it a second. But yeah, basically the master run is, it's level one. So we're starting at, also I, I just like randomly put the last thumbnail I used up. This isn't a run request, but I didn't have another one. So, um, so basically, yeah, it's level one. So we started deprived level one, no level boosting, meaning no items like Godric's Great Rune, Radagon, Sword Seal, uh, strength, physic, stuff like that. So we, we have to stay at 10 in every stat. We're not upgrading any weapons. So everything is plus zero. And we're on NG plus seven. Okay, so all that combined. And then we're just going to no-hit the game. That is the plan. And I, I think... I, so I did a few run requests so far. I kind of want to do this before I do the next one. Just because I'm very interested in this run. And it sounds like it's going to be fun, so... We're pretty close to being able to start attempting it. I, I basically just have to get better at the bosses, and that's it. Which I guess is, <laughs> like... It's the big thing. It might sound like that's the hard part, but the hard part is honestly, like, routing it. Figuring out what's the best um, to use on every boss fight and all that stuff. There's, I'm, I'm certain there's a better way to do this. I, I just... I just like kind of quickly tested this last night. Um, so, so yeah, we kill this guy to get poison moth flight. Let's see if this works here. It's really, it's really annoying because this rock, you, it's super precise where you have to shoot it in order to actually get him to fall. This should work, I think. So he should jump off. Yeah, there we go. Now, earlier, I, I shot it, I guess, a bit left of that, and then he just ran off himself, or I don't know. But yeah, that, that's the strat that I found uh, yesterday for him. Saves quite a bit of time having to, or not having to kill him properly. <clears throat> and then, yeah, I was also testing, so... Like, I, I was just kind of going through the route yesterday. And I got up to gold free. And I, I, initially, I was using the dagger. The dagger is one of the worst options here, actually. It's kind of funny. I, I didn't really test a lot of things, but the dagger is atrocious compared to the axes. The axes are so good. Um, Both of them are honestly... They both had their advantages here. So, th so this is a... I know there's a lot of people who are not up to speed on this run at all because this, I think this is the first time I streamed on on YouTube. But but yeah, obviously this boss um, we can't use status effects on. Status effects are our main source of damage on this run. You know we go with the spikes, Cestus, the Star Fist, uh, Venomous Fang, and uh, what else? Uh, we go with a Cold Dagger for um, rocking Frost with Chilling Mist, of course. So, so that's our build for most bosses, but, you know, there's there's two bosses on this route that can't be inflicted, on, or statuses don't work on them. It's, uh, it's Ghost Loretta, who we fight for a number of reasons. We, I can go through it. So we fight Ghost Loretta to get, first of all, Chilling Mist. And then we also fight her to get access to um, Lake of Rot, right? There's a skip we can do, or we don't actually have to do the skip and just do Rainy's quest line. Uh, so that we can, yeah, get down to Lake Rot so that we can get our access to Rot Pots plus the Rot Grease. Which we can craft. Which is essential. Like, we have to do it for Gideon and for Godskin Duo. So that's why we, that's why we kill Ghost Loretta. Um, and then... I'm trying to give you guys the quick rundown. So we kill Redan on this because... If we put a Poison Infusion on the Venomous Fang, which we can do with the Black Wet Blade, which is after the Mimic tier, after Redan, then, so so this this weapon d uh, does the Deadly Poison, which is like a, a heavier hitting poison, but it only lasts for 30 seconds. If you put a Poison Infusion on the Venomous Fang, you can get 
the Deadly Poison, which is the stronger per tick version, but it'll last for 90 seconds instead. So that's why we kill Redan. So that'll help us on the later game fights. Uh, I think it's a minute and a half. I'm pretty sure. And then uh, Rykard's pretty self-explanatory, but we fight Rykard because... Um, well, the reason... So Rykard's pretty easy, right? Because the Serpent Hunter still does tons of damage, even on NG plus 7. But we get Assassin's Gambit from killing Rykard. So after him, you know, you can talk to Bernal, talk to his chair, and then you can get access to his shop that way. Uh, so that's why I fight Rykard. I can't remember if there's another reason. But yeah, he, he's honestly one of the easier bosses. Like, he's probably easier than Godric overall. Like, more consistent. As long as you have uh, Vow of the Indomitable, that is. And that brings us to right now. So, initially I thought Dagger was, like, a, a Lightning Slash Dagger would be good here. Because it has Thrusting Damage on the Charger 2 and good Repose Damage. But it honestly just isn't even close to the Axes. I'm not really sure which one... I'm going to use because the, you know, the battle axe does higher damage per hit, but then also loses out on a punish on, is it, it has a slower R1, like significantly slower R1. So there's that versus the hand axe, which has less damage, but that's a much faster R1 and you can fit in extra punishes. I tried the battle axe on Loretta. I definitely prefer the hand axe. Hand axe I think is better because you can fit in extra punishes, but... On this fight, I think the Battle Axe might be better. I, I timed both fights. Basically, like, they're the exact same. It's just which one I prefer. Um, I think this one probably has potential to be better here because it has, a, like, a harder-hitting Charger too. so that's probably what I'm going to go with. And they're both super easy to get. I could just buy this at round table, so. So, yeah, I, there's the rundown, you guys. Um... And so, I did not mean to do a rolling attack. So yeah, at this point, this is where I spent more effort in, you know, the early testing. You know, from like, basically, Gold free and beyond. So we should have like most of this stuff figured out. Look how much less damage we do without lightning slots. Like it's such a big, big damage boost. But it's really nice seeing those numbers though, right? Like 342 is a pretty huge number on this run. And yeah, compared to the Hand Axe, the Hand Axe does, I believe, uh, three, I think it does like 304 per charge R2 here, so like it's a pretty big difference, but then the Hand Axe also gets extra hits in certain spots. That's what I was saying, like they're kind of both, both similar, it's just, which one do I prefer to use? That's a huge mistake. I should be doing an R1 there. Yeah, see, like, right there, the Hand Axe would get two, two hits. Fight can be so annoying. He loves to go next to the walls, dude. Tech Wanderings. Look, Chan, are you are you saying that to me or just oh bye or somebody else? Yeah, if anybody can think of a better setup, it, like in any of these cases, then.
then let me know because this this run is really just about optimizing with what we can use. And this is the best setup I've found here so far. But it's certainly possible there's something better. Oh wow, that's the uh that's the outdated command, dude. I guess I can fix that. <laughs> Should I have a cooldown on it? Well, last time on, on Twitch when I had a cooldown, like I, I got a million questions asking what the run was. Can you pin can you pin chat messages on this? On on YouTube? Okay, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna fix the command and then I'll just pin it and then put a cooldown on it. That's what I'll do. Yeah, so basically in, in Dark Souls 3, I did a run that... Uh, I did a run that's basically the same. Like, that's where I, you know... That's the original master run was Dark Souls 3. And the rules were slightly different, because obviously it's a different game, but... Um, does someone want to do the command now so I can pin it? Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's fine. Let's see if this is right. <clears throat> uh, great runes are fine, but obviously I can't use Godric's because it boosts stats. Like, the reason, if anyone's wondering why I excluded stat boosting, I think the run would still be cool with it as well. But, just think about how many levels you can get with just stat boosting in this game. You can get to uh, approximately level 150 using... You guys see the pin message, right? There it is. Um, you can get to level 150, basically, with stat boosting. And I just I just didn't want to have to spend, you know, so much time before every fight buffing. You know, using the grafted blade, using all that. Like, I just didn't want to bother with it, dude. And then it would also be, like, a magic-based route, which I didn't really want to do either. Right, because magic, if you can get to, you know, 40 intelligence with meteorite staff, and you're going to be looking pretty nice. Which I didn't really want to do, so. Hey, I'm looking really bright, you guys. I gotta get one second. Let me just adjust my camera really fast. Okay, so so yeah, basically, um, I'm probably going to be streaming a lot more on YouTube coming up because if, if I'm if I'm allowed to stream on both Twitch and YouTube at the same time, there's there's literally almost no reason why I wouldn't. But I I, I don't know. I'll have to see. Uh, this is just any percent. I would like to do all bosses at some, like, one day. But, uh... Start small for now. Yeah, I'm not really sure how you even stream... At, to, to both at the same time, but I'm sure it's not that hard to set up. But yeah, as, as a streamer, there's there's literally no reason why you wouldn't stream to like as many platforms as possible at once. So, so yeah, <laughs> third PC, surely, <clears throat> surely I'll do that. Okay, so um, I actually wanted to test the bleed buildup of the Star Fist versus, like. One downside of using the Starfist for, for the bleed is that they take so much stamina to do tap R2s. Whereas the Spike Cestus really, like... Or I guess I could just do R1s. The same moveset. I don't know. 
Well, yeah, following multiple chats just like wouldn't really be an option. I I, I don't think, dude. I, I'm already bad at following one chat, especially now that it's like, you know, I didn't used to always have such an active chat. So like, oh, I could read every message and do all that stuff. But it's a little different now, especially on YouTube, man. Just hide YouTube chat. Well, I don't know what you would do. I don't know. I, I'm not going to do it for now, though, obviously. I'll have to think about how it would work and all that stuff, but. <laughs> uh, Miklos, how's it going, dude? I've combined on-screen chat. Well, apparently Twitch says that sh that's not going to be allowed. Apparently. I don't know how they're going to enforce that because that's, you know. Think about how much effort it would take for somebody to actually look at every stream and be like, okay, they've got YouTube chat up on the screen, ban them. Like, there's no way they're going to do that, right? I, at least not for a... Uh, like, unless you're a gigantic streamer, then we're probably not going to really enforce that too much. Hmm. I would love to have like a fire infused dagger or something, man, but I don't even know how I would do that. Just just for the frost reset, it would be nice. Any news about I have no idea what you're even talking what you're referring to. I don't know what you know what is. <laughs> uh, this is the normal setup. So, so yeah, we got Turtle Talisman. Red Feather honestly doesn't do much, but it does a tiny bit over the course of a fight. Axe Talisman, basically useless, but... In fact, like, I'm literally not even going to do a charge or two. Yeah, I thought about Flaming Strike. We can't get another dagger, though, without farming. Right? I, like, I don't think you can get another dagger in this game. And the only other dagger we can wield is the Singadia, which, it, like, it, I'm pretty... Isn't that a somber weapon? I don't know. Yeah, Morgoth is, is weak to lightning in phase two because he's got the water. I'm very curious to just, like, try out the axes and see because I, I haven't actually tried anything other than just, uh, like, status build, but... Okay, um, let me just make a save here and stop talking. Yeah, it is somber, so that's not really what you want. But yeah, we only have 10 decks, right? That's it. Only 10 decks, so I'm pretty sure the only daggers we can wield are Syncadia, which is a strength dagger. And... Um, and the dagger, which you can only buy one of, I'm pretty sure. The, the others you have to farm. So... Yeah, it's certainly not ideal. Oh, it is so nice to have that big stamina bar here, though. Nice. I Rodan's Great Rune's really uh, nice here. So yeah, we start with Rot, Frost, and then we go Deadly Poison. I don't know if I've... Yeah, that looks safe. I really wish there was like a status bar on uh, on the bosses or something so you could actually see what status you, what statuses you have going. It's really hard to tell sometimes when you got so many damage per second effects going on. I wonder if I should go for another bleed or not. Oh, 
Ooh. It was kind of a felt like an early one, but I guess it actually wasn't. Oh, that was really close. To be able to finish him off with a frost. Here we go. I was kind of slow to decide if I was going to go for the moth light on that, but. Waki Zashi. Yeah, again, we, we, we only have 10 decks to work with, right? So uh, there's only two daggers. I, I, I checked Hello. I checked every weapon in the game. And, uh, you know, there's certain weapons as well that technically I can wield, but you got to farm them. And obviously I'm not going to farm. So an example would be the Noble S-Stock I'm not going to use. And there, there's quite a few, um, there's quite a few hammers that you can use, but hammers are kind of not that good. Well, they're not bad, but in terms of just damage, axes are, are axes are just better, I think. Unless unless an enemy's weak to strike, which in this run, like, is anybody really weak to strike? I don't think so. Surely baseline today, dude. Another talisman slot that I could put in here. Also, we need to... Uh, so I guess at this point... Actually, let me put this in the notes. At this point, we would need to go to the Lake of Rot. So th this would be like a lot of running around now. Almost every boss is weak to strike. That's not really true. If you do uh, excl exclamation mark res sheet, R-E-S-S-H-E-E-T, you can check any enemy in the game and uh, their like resistances and their weaknesses and all that stuff. Oh, uh, oh man, I shouldn't have said that because now it's going to be like 600 commands going in the chat. Okay, well, yeah, it eventually showed up. Yeah, this is a nice thing to have when I'm routing stuff to see, like, what kind of damage types, but... I don't know, you could probably go through most of the main bosses here. Um, I guess, is, is Radagon... Like, Radagon, I guess, is maybe... Yeah, he's, he's weaker to strike, but... We just status on him anyways. So, like, that's that's the thing, right? A lot of, a lot of the enemies... A lot of the bosses, we just go with a status build, and so our damage type doesn't actually matter. If we were to do this run with no status, which honestly probably wouldn't be possible, but... Well. I don't know. Doing this run without status... I, I Apparently, nobody's ever killed Godskin Duo with these restrictions before, with no statuses. So, like, I guess probably, in theory, it's doable, but... Unlikely. But yeah, if you were to do this without statuses, then you have to start taking into into consideration all that stuff. Elden Beast is actually one of the quickest fights on this run because of the, uh, we get Black Flame Tornado. Which we don't get until obviously killing Godskin Duo. Yeah, theoretically, that would be possible, but just think about the gods can do a fight alone, dude. All the other fights, like... I mean, yeah, you could probably do them. Gideon would be a huge issue, obviously, but you could fight Gideon. But gods can do a... 
with no status on NG plus seven plus zero. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even know. I don't know how that fight would shape out, basically. It would be probably over an hour, and it would not be fun. Uh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we're using statuses here, but if you're, if you're saying a no status run, then definitely not. Sleep is a status. Oh, we can't wield the Stitcher. That is that is kind of part of the reason why I wanted to go no, no level boosting on this, because I didn't want to use the Stitcher. Just because I thought, you know, there's, there's a lot of bosses where it would be decent on them. Well, maybe not, though. Definitely Redan would be good on him, but... I don't know. But no, we can't wield the Stitcher. Or yeah, sorry, yeah, the Pila. That's yeah, that's what I meant. I understood what you meant. <laughs> I think it, it's probably like 16 decks or something like that. I also kind of want this. Well, I did fist only, but that wasn't no hit. I, I took probably hundreds of hits on God's Can Duo fist only. Because I, I did a parry strat, right? You, you couldn't do a parry strat on them. There's no way that you could make a parry strat consistent on God's Can Duo on a run like this. Just because there's too much RNG with getting frame trapped. And, like, I guess if you did it, like, you could do parries, I guess, but you just have to make sure you're 100% safe every single time you do it. And then at that point, it probably wouldn't even be as efficient as just fighting them. <laughs> Glintstone Pebble. Well, if you had unlimited FP and unlimited time, then maybe. Uh, what's up, Bab? So yeah, that I, the main reason I didn't want to do level boosting on this is just because I, I felt like... I, I felt like level boosting is too strong. You know, like I said, you can get to level 150. Not not actually, but you can you can boost your stats on level one to get to a point where you're basically a level 150. And and then if you did do that, you would funnel towards a magic build because you have the um gravity. What what's the gravity staff called? I forget, but you have that, which you know, out of the box is already basically like an upgraded staff. And so you'd have, you know, 40, 45 intelligence, whatever you can hit. And then you'd just be using, yeah, meteorite staff all day long. It's just, it just, it doesn't sound as fun as doing this way, I think. I'd rather go non-magic based. So, so yeah, that's, that's why I wanted no level boosting, because it's just too strong. Whereas in the previous Souls games, right, if you include stat boosting, it really doesn't... It, like, it actually adds a cool component to the run because there are some useful things that you can wield once you get to, like, 15 and in intelligence or whatever. But, but, yeah, those items are few and far between, right? If you think about Dark Souls 3, you got... You got the, uh... You know, Celso Twin Blades, for example, right? But you can't wield those until you clear archives because the Hunter's Ring, which gives you five decks, is in the archives. So you basically go through most of the game and you can't actually use the weapon until the very end. But if you do it like a DLC run or something, an all bosses run, then it does come into effect. And it's not like super OP or something. It's just you get an extra five levels plus Milk Ring is an extra three. And so you can hit the 16 dex requirements. It's not like it's not, you know, like hitting 50 decks like we can in this game at level one. Or whatever it is, 45. I could just I guess I could just not allow magic, but at that point, it, I think it just gets you know, there's a certain point where arbitrary or restrictions get a little bit too arbitrary, you know? And I think I think that is kind of getting into that territory. I like the restrictions I do in, my, in the runs to be very broad, I, I think. 
but but yeah, I could though. Even though, yeah, I guess no level boosting is pretty arbitrary, but well, all the all of them technically are arbitrary, but I don't want to really have rules to disallow like one specific thing. And it's like, oh, I could do this run, but I can't use this weapon. I can't use the server hunter because whatever. I don't really like doing that. The new vid command. Um. Well, so you know what? So so the bot I use, like Stream Stream Labs bot or whatever. The you know the YouTube and the Twitch are different. Like it's a different bot that I run. Like it's a you know it's a software that I run on my PC. And so when the commands get updated on the Twitch one, they don't necessarily get updated on the YouTube one. So, so yeah, a lot of the commands are like super old from when I, you know, transferred all the commands over. So, uh, so yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what the issue is. Uh, bow only, it's not in the works yet, but, um, there, yeah, there's, there's a few no hit run videos that are going to come out first, you know, like Dark Moon Greatsword, if, if anyone's been seeing the shorts that have been coming out, you know, Dark Moon Greatsword, uh, that's poker I did, I did the Arumi as well, so there's going to be a few of those runs probably first. Yeah, the new meta, you guys, I we found this, uh, well, if, if people saw that short of me cheesing Esger, well, I guess I found that on YouTube, right? I actually can't remember, but, um, Great Bow is the new meta for baiting enemies, because it's so much better than, than Kukri's are. Kukri's are, are a thing of the past. All about, all about that Great Bow now. And that's what I've been using on this run. It's so nice, dude, because you can aim it, and there's not that... You know, when you're shooting Kukri's, there's sort of a dead zone uh, when you're aiming... So, like, vertically... If you're aiming slightly lower, slightly high, compared to, uh, I guess, zero degrees, or whatever you want to call it, there's, like, a dead zone where if you aim slightly down, it'll just adjust to being at, at that same zero-degree throw. So, it's annoying if you're trying to get a precise throw at the ground that's far away... See, I'm aiming slightly low and see how it just, it just goes straight. Obviously, the bow doesn't have that, right? You see, if I aim straight and if I aim slightly lower... Yeah, that was too low. But there's there's like a, there's an angle in here. Like, it'll just go straight anyways. So, it is kind of annoying. And yeah, the great bow is really easy to, easy to pick up over here. I just... Uh, I just need, like, a few sleep pots. But... Okay, we're going to go to Lake of Rot now. So... So do I do the skip or not? I think I actually did get the Grace Underground. So the consideration here is that if I do this quest, then I can get my hands on the filigree talisman, which like wouldn't be a game changing talisman, but it might be nice to have. So I'm, I, I guess well, we can do this legit. Just a bit slower, but we, yeah, I, I, the filigree talisman is, it reduces your FP consumption on Ashes of War by like, I don't know how much it is, but it's an amount that might matter on Elden Beast. Because we use Black Flame Tornado. Royda the Legend, dude. I almost guarantee Royda does not have a wife at this point, but <laughs> who knows, dude. Yeah, 25%. I heard a 
could I require? I anticipate. That's that's pretty significant. That's basically an extra black flame tornado per FP bar. Really? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, this probably won't be a long stream today, though, you guys. Like, I wasn't planning on stream for that long. Um, I don't really watch, uh, I don't really watch shows too often, so I, I don't really have a favorite, I don't think. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's, it's, you know, it's too long of a story to explain who Royda is, and it happened too long ago. Liter that was literally, like, it was over four years ago. With just some Redditor, basically, that I was clowning on. Yeah, we might as well do the quest, I guess, right? Um, I do not like PvP in this game. I honestly, I, well. <laughs> um, I guess, well, I, maybe I do. It's, it's hard to say. Because I did PvP in DS3. I, I did a lot of PvP in DS3. Like, you know, well over a thousand hours of it, at least. And... I guess I do, like, I, I do like it, but that doesn't mean I think it's good. And I think it's even worse in this game somehow. So. So, yeah, I think it's bad, but. Honestly, though, if I liked it, I would have done a lot of it by now. And I have done some. But, yeah, it's, I don't know. PvP enabled no hit would be <laughs> like insanely easy to be honest. Oh, I was gonna do the skip, but don't have to. I mean, just 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 think about it, right? It, even if you turned on like your hunter's tongue, if you just stay away from any sort of, if you just stay far away from any sort of meta stats slash upgrade level, you just wouldn't get invaded. And this game certainly is not the most active in terms of uh, invasion, so. It's just, like, the, the only people who would invade you are just, you know, people who are sniping. But if you're not streaming, then nobody's going to snipe. So. I once, I, I did once try that in Dark Souls 3, though. Like, dry finger plus no hit while staying in the meta range. For, for, like, my soul level and stuff. And then staying in, the, like, the proper upgrade range. And, uh, it honestly, like, it wasn't fun. Like, I think the main reason it wasn't fun is just because, you know, I was streaming it, and... Um, you know, like, the people who invaded, first of all, like... Even when I did that, and it was probably in 20... I don't know when that would have been, 2019 or something? The Dark Souls 3 was not super active at that point. Um, and even though I was, like, dry-fingered staying near the meta levels, 
like basically just got I just got sniped by people who knew what I was doing and uh and they just they made builds specifically to like not not to actually try to win an invasion but just to try to hit hit somebody I still I, I remember there's one run I made it to Grand Archives um and then I actually got hit by a legit invader I think or I don't actually remember what happened maybe maybe the sage got me or something like that but But yeah, it's not as fun as you might think it is, actually. And and probably the, the main reason for that is just how poor the, you know, online experience in this game actually is with, you know, latency plus netcode. And it's just, it's a, honestly, it's just a disaster. So... A long run to Lake of Ra. But no, yeah, like I said though, even though the PvP in these games, I, I don't think anybody could argue that they're good and well executed PvP compared to other games, but it, it still can be fun if you can get over the hump of you know, the latency, like all the Things I was just saying, the latency plus netcode. And I guess in this game, the balancing issues, if you can get over that, then it can be fun. But you have to, you have to like persevere through that first. It was the same in DS3, right? If someone just, you know, it's like, oh, I, I want to try some invasion or they get invaded on their, one of their first playthroughs or something like that. You'd be like, wow, I never want to do this again because it's, it's so bad. But if you can somehow get past it, then it can be fun. Uh, Mason, thanks for the uh, donation, dude. I did a stance damage talisman DLC. Well, I, I mean, I guess the first thing is that those weapons basically have the best poise damage per second in the game. I, I don't know if they actually do. But if they don't, they're definitely up there. And so... You know, like, to be honest, though, usually stuff in DLC doesn't really affect in any percent. Like, I'm trying to think... Whoa, that's a quick, quick rock build up, dude. Like, it, it depends where the DLC, you know how accessible it is and all that stuff, but, but yeah, no, it, it wouldn't really change anything, I don't think. It would just make the Starfist and Iron Balls even stronger than they already are. Hopefully I have enough heals for this. Uh, Hopeless, thanks for the uh, donation. I, I Did somebody request a St. Trina Sword already or no? Um, I'm not sure. But I'm sure I'll do it eventually. Maybe. <laughs> Minus 10. Um, I won't, Juju. No, there's no point in getting it. Even though we do use bleed a lot, having an extra 20% damage for 20 seconds on this run literally just doesn't do anything. If, I, if it just popped in my inventory and I had it, then I would use it, obviously. But it's not worth spending literally any amount of time to go get that.
The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin, all of it. Oh. I thought, somehow I thought that butterfly was on this, like, little island. Anyone or if anyone's wondering where the, all those bot like what the hell the bot saying, it's likely just some it's almost every time gonna be something just some random person said that I thought was funny and I put it into a command. That is basically always what it's gonna be. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin. Oh my god, how is the how is the bots or how's the notification so delayed, dude? Okay, so now that we got rots. Yeah, like that, that Yim Faka man, just some like random comment that I got. That was funny. Um, and then, yeah, the Roida ones are all just like Reddit posts from the, that one guy. And I, I don't know, just a bunch of random stuff. Got a couple of these. I don't need that many, but uh, I'm drinking water. Is what I'm drinking. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Nice. The the bots on point today, dude. How are so many people using commands right now? Last time this wasn't an issue, dude. Okay, so I'll just make I'll just make two for now. Uh, hopeless, thanks for the donation again. I appreciate that. God run all bosses. Um, I, I've thought about it. Not for very long, but I've thought about it. I The thing is, though, I'd much rather do runs like this, right? I think runs like this are more fun for me. Okay, so fire giant. No, frost isn't, uh, oh. I should probably get some uh, blue flask, I guess. Fire giant on this run is not great, but uh, it's actually maybe not as bad as you would think. Rotten phase two does so much damage and so does frost and so does Deadly poison and all that stuff, so. <laughs> See you, nerds. Yeah, I I think that was just some random, like, chatter one time said that. No, we have, we have the stats for this. It's just the game doesn't think I have 12 strength, even though I do, technically, because I'm two-handing it. It's just twin weapons like this. Um, it just, the there's, just visually, it doesn't actually update, but I, I can wield the Star Fist. This arena is actually what makes this fight so bad. Well. One of the few things.
Oh, he's not even going to let me get brought off here. Because look at that, like... <sighs> so annoying. Yeah. I should have made more than two <laughs> rod greases, is what I've learned here. Yeah, when when is when he goes up onto a rock like that, there's honestly just nothing you can do because if you try to go up onto it, you're just kinda opening yourself up to get killed by the, the falling animation. Uh Gold Cube, thanks for the donation as well, dude. What I mean by that is if you roll off of a ledge. The falling animation takes priority over the roll, so you basically, you know, as soon as you start that falling animation, then you, you come out of your iframes, and so you can get killed that way. And, uh... Definitely happens on this boss. Okay, that's better, though. I'd much rather be over here. Just such bad positioning here. Just so bad. Yeah, phase two, phase two is easier, except for the fact that he has his fire breath, which is just like inconsistent. So Yeah, basically everything about phase two is easier except that. Also, just totally, like, missed the Poison Moth Flight. So normally we would have Rot going, and he would probably be almost in Phase 2 by now. Oh my god, I thought... That's such a bad roll, too. I thought he was doing something else. I, I can't find him over there. Like, there's... I just, I can't fight him over there. I don't know how much total damage the, the poison does here.
Probably like around what, like 5k? Let me get it. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Classic. Classic roll right onto the rocks. And look, he just got so confused. Frost. Did I already? No. Okay, there it is. just use a poison to get him into phase two yeah normally like it rot would have made this go into phase two much sooner i just messed up by not bringing bringing in like extra rot resins That attack's really scary because you gotta dodge a projectile, but then it like hits the ground after, right? Which has another AoE. So it's actually like a really dangerous attack. I would like to do a moth flight before phase two, but. Oh my god, did I really Oh, that's brutal, dude. <laughs> that's horrible. I'm not wait. No, I don't think I got it. Like I was a millisecond too late, and now he's gonna do this, and he's gonna do Volcano. One thing I, I, I need to actually test before we do this run is I need to confirm 100% that it's safe to go in here. Because I'm not, I'm not convinced, but this would basically be a free rot proc if I can go in here. And now my rot's gonna be gone. I, yeah, I should bring in minimum four rod greases into this fight. We still have it, though. Nope. No, we don't. I know follow-up. Well, it's a good fire giant practice, at least, because we're, we're doing this fight, and it's basically taking twice as long as it's supposed to. I'm 
you imagine all of this and then he just does fire breath and I have to bone out? I'm sure it's going to happen a couple times. Dude, Dan, thanks for the, the insane $50 donation, dude. Thanks so much, dude. Legendary Dan Lee. Okay, we did get him. This was... Look in this phase, dude. The, that deadly poison does like 100 damage per tick, right? 99 per tick. Huge. That's why this phase goes faster, because for whatever reason, his max HP is higher. Probably an oversight, honestly, but... Like, I think that's what it is, right? It's just max HP is higher, so... Frost. Lead. Yeah, this would be a bone at every time. And I was too late because I hesitated on it, but. Yep, so that that right there would be. I would have to do all this over again. <laughs> like not the run, but. Yeah, that's gonna be painful when that happens. Let's do moth flight. That would be a, a bone out every time. Apparently, the, the most consistent way to dodge it is to go under his, like, legs. But it, it still deflects, and I, I don't trust it still, so. Would have been a good time to actually go underneath his legs there to try it, but yeah. So there, there's some like serious breaking potential here on this fight. Like if, if we also, you know, with the rot, the fight doesn't last as long, so it's way less likely that we're gonna have to leave the fight. But but yeah, there, there's potential that I, I go through this fight like several times on the actual run. Okay, let's do this properly with the Roth this time, because, like, we just missed out on thousands of damage for not having Roth. If I was good though, like I actually didn't get hit by anything other than just the fire breath, which I would bone out of for, so. Well, Black Flame Tornado, again, like the only way we can use Black Flame Tornado at this point in the run is on the Stitcher, which, or sorry, the Peeler, which we can't wield, so. No, you can't. No, it doesn't work that way, Shimmer, dude. That's not how it works. The, 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 the problem with the fight, or the problem with that attack isn't dodging the initial, uh, like, fire breath. It's the RNG of the projectiles bouncing. That's that's the problem. And there's nothing you can do about it, because the way this arena works and the amount of range those projectiles have, you can't really guarantee that you're not going to get hit by a projectile deflecting. Like, if you want to see good examples of that, if you watch my fist-only kill on this guy, 
which was like, I don't know how long, but you know, maybe like five and a half hours or something. There are clips in there of me getting hit by that attack, you know, up to like 10 seconds after the attack is done. And so, yeah, like I, I think the leg strat's supposed to mitigate that a little bit, but we got poison this time, or we got rock. Oh my god, dude. And see, he can roll and just get stuck on stuff, and then you just get hit. This fight is, uh... When you do low damage, you know, one thing I've learned over the years of playing these games, when you do low damage on fights... That is where you really see how well designed the fight is. And, and some people might say, like, oh, like, obviously you're not meant to fight the, this boss with this low damage, so... We do have double proc. Yeah, so it's not, like, a valid way of comparing it, except... It kind of is, though, because, at least in my mind, a fair fight should be consistent while doing any any restriction, really, in terms of, like, low damage or something like that, or other. And, it, and, and in my opinion, if a if a fight is balanced because it just has like low enough HP that you can power through it, then it's clearly not well designed at all. Gideon's per like a perfect example of that, probably. Like, oh yeah, I have no problem with Gideon because I just one shot him every run. It's like, okay, well, probably not one shotting him. Ignite that poison. Am I mid rolling? I uh, hopeless. Thanks for the uh, donation again. Uh, what's next for no hit? You mean like after this? Um, I'll probably go back to the just all the run requests. scary yeah see how much smoother it is though when you actually get that rot going we'll frost him again like another another frost plus the poison combustion and like basically we're in phase two him down a little bit. Seriously. How is that not phase two? Oh, man. What a misplay. Uh, the reason I don't use bleed as much, and, and you know, he's resist he's very resistant to frost, but chilling mist is so strong. Oh boy. Chilling mist is so strong that it ends up kind of just being better than having a buff with blood grease and all that stuff. Actually start with bleed, but I could do bleed now. That's probably what I will do. on the rocks again. I so despise the way his stomp works, <laughs> especially with the terrain like this, because... Yeah, we didn't even need the bleed. 
Because, yeah, like the, you know, his foot has a hitbox, but it totally changes on the, depending on the terrain, right? Hey, Rot. Okay, we should be able to get him here. Yep, there we go. All right, and now poison. That just, it really scares me, but I, I, we're gonna test that. Maybe we can test that today. Look at his fucking eye, bro, seriously. Such a, it's such an absolute troll. Rock. You don't need, oh, and that's a bone out. Brutal. See, look, see how it like deflects off of stuff? Now, when you're in this part of the arena, it's not so bad. But, like, it, it could hit anything, right? It, it can hit a, a tree trunk, it can hit a rock, it could even hit the ground at a weird, in a weird way and just bounce in some other direction. So, yeah, like, I, I would have to bone out there, dude. Now, with ER tool, can I force an attack to happen? Not sure. Oh, I can with ER tool? Um, where is that? I can't find it, but I, it must be here. Ah, repeat last action. Okay, there we go. I didn't see that. I just want to test the volcano move and see if I can go in because it would really suck if, you know, we got to this point and then I lost a run because it wasn't safe to go in during that. Did a mage build in their OP, but more like a glass cannon. Well, it just depends how you build it, right? You could build, you can easily just level up health as well, right? There's no reason why you can't. Why can't I change his HP? What? That's weird. It says he has 400 health. Oh, wait, what? Oh. That's... Okay, that's weird. Is he gonna die? 
I guess this works. Obviously, this fight is done in a weird way. I'm waiting for his volcano, which apparently he doesn't want to do. Maybe he can't, maybe he can't do it unless he's lower health or something. This, this is all messed up. Like, does it... I don't know, because what I've heard is that it's only consistent if you're out of range and then come back in range or something. But... Like, how does that make sense, though? Like, do these track you? Because that there was none even remotely close to me on that one. Yeah, normally you'd be like here though. So I wonder if there's also like a terrain issues too, right? Like I I don't know. I have no idea. This is a cool attack. It's too bad it like it sucks at the same time. So if I stay down here though, is this now inconsistent because I'm right in front of him? I, I just, this is what I, I, I just don't trust it, man. I feel like there could be a lot of variables happening. Like terrain or p potentially, but now it, it does look like they're closer to me, I think. Maybe. It's gone Paletto. It looks the same, like for the most part. Well, I, I could speed up the game, but I, I, I shouldn't, because I want to see what's going on here. Oh! 
I, dude, I have to imagine there's some, like, terrain things, right? There has to be. Because why would it just randomly be different at that, that time? <laughs> but there also might be, like, a tracking part of it, too. Hmm. I don't know. It certainly does look different compared to when I was underneath them. rock tracking you it could be then why is it so it's it's no matter how you look at it it seems like it's not cons like not consistent with what happens Well, this time I got close, and they do look a lot closer, but didn't he start this out when I was far away? Because, yeah, look how much closer they are now. Oh, my God. Problem. It's so hard to tell. Dude, it literally <laughs> landed right on my head. See, but this time, like that, look how close that is, though. Right? And I ran in on that one. Yeah, we need to we need to look at the code on this one dude because uh, this is not uh, honestly if i were to just guess i feel like this is just terrain and it, like because that that looked the same as when i was underneath them the whole time so I'm just not going to do it. These have pretty small AoEs, though. Or I guess, you know what? The, the most likely thing here is that they are just all random. And... And that's it, right? They're just random. Like, that's probably what it actually is. Um, I don't know. All I know is I don't trust it. And I'm probably not going to go in on that, dude. It just, it looks totally random to me. And even if it's super high percentage, like, I'd rather not lose a run to something like that. Yeah, I've, I've never got hit from mid-range either. I, I never have, like, you know, on any any casual no, non-no-hit run I do, I go in on that attack. And I've, I've never been touched by it, but... Um... Still, though, dude. When you're doing a run like this, if there's something that's even like a 1% or less, 
and it like it it, it 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 always finds a way to happen basically or it seems to maybe that's just like some confirmation bias though because other things that are like that that have happened i've probably taken note of it but but still it's fine i'll just i'll just grab an extra rot grease is basically what it comes down to I think any would do a master God Run 3. Um, I don't know. It depends. Probably not, I guess. Like, just, just, I, I'm the only one who's ever done, like, I, I was the one who came up with the master run in DS3. I'm also the only one who's done it so far. So it's not, like, a super popular thing to do. Level 1 plus 0 is very, is a pretty popular thing to do, though, at this point. Um, so it would be more likely to do something like that compared to doing an NG plus seven. But yeah, I just, I felt like this run on NG plus seven uh, made kind of more sense in this game. Because on base NG, honestly, like bosses are, I don't know. Uh, I, I, like the way we're playing this, it probably wouldn't even change that much though. We just might as well do NG plus seven. Yeah, Bender's got a one-hit PB on... I, I I don't know if it's any percent all, all bosses, but CBD also has a all bosses one-hit PB in DS3. So, like, a couple people have tried, and I I'm, I'm guarantee both of those guys will do it, but... Yeah, it's it's not a super popular thing, but level one plus zero is, is pretty popular. Like, even when this game came out, right, like, a couple people immediately went to do, like, level one plus zero no-hit. Like, within the first probably, like, five months of the game coming out. Maybe a bit more than five months, but but yeah. Actually, no, maybe not. Surely live run, Aram. After taking one trillion hits to Fire Giant earlier. But yeah, obviously back in the day it was it's uh wasn't like that. Back in the good old days, dude, of no hit runs. <laughs> when everybody sucked. Someone just, just, just ban him, dude. Just take out Paletto. <laughs> take him out. But yeah, the first time with, with level one plus zero, the first time it was done was in 20, I don't know. I have to go back to check, but I feel like it was 2018 when I did uh, SO1 no upgrade, any percent no hit in DS3. And I remember I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm going to do this all bosses. And then, of course, I went to do all bosses after that, which happened in, I think, uh, maybe like G January, February uh, 2019. And then what I thought for sure, I was like so confident that just nobody else was going to bother with that run ever again. And... Uh, Obviously, I was wrong about that. Like, I think it was about a year and a half later where somebody else came along and eventually did the SO1 plus zero all boss no hit. And then kind of after that, a lot of people started uh, started doing it. It was sounds tricky. He was the second person to do the all bosses uh, SO1 no upgrade in DS3. And then... And yeah, I feel like after that point is when a lot of people started to, like, focus on... You know, not just doing the base any percent no hit run, but doing like a lot more than that. Uh, Zeke and Bart, how's it going, dude? Shadows would be 40 minutes long. Dude, yeah, shadows would be not fun. Okay, obviously, I forgot the poison pots.
Oh, we're not attempting yet, random. We're, we're just, uh, just like going through the rest of the run at this point, I guess. So, we need a lot of... Where do I get the poison bloom from? I honestly cannot remember where I farmed this. It might have been on the way to, to here. Like, did I get the sleep? How many sleep pots do I have? I don't actually need more sleep than this. We have just enough. But I'm pretty sure I, I got it from down here, so... Oh, Jarberg, you're right. Yeah, it totally is from Jarberg. That's a good, good call. Also, I do need sleep arrows, so let me put some notes in here. Uh, my keyboard. I think I accidentally, like, kicked my... Okay, there we go. I think I kicked the USB port, and it kind of... Messed it up. Too bad there's no toxic mushrooms in Jarberg, man. It'd be kind of nice. Okay, uh, let's go get the uh, sleep. I did see it, Bregan, although, like, it's hardly a W, dude. You know, tw Twitch kind of, what they do is they have horrible things in place, and then they just do the reasonable thing, and then people see it as a W, when it's like, I, I guess, in a vacuum it is, but it should have just been like that the entire time, dude. Uh, but yeah, no, I, 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 I'll probably take advantage of that, I think. Oh, there was another example of something they did. I mean, I guess... I don't even know, man. <laughs> there, was, there was something they did that people were saying was a W, but it was the exact same thing. Maybe, maybe like, a couple months ago. I guess there's that, there's that Partner Plus program in Twitch where if you have, like, 350 plus subscriber points or something... Not even subscribers, points, which is actually worse. Because it doesn't even count, like, prime subs. But, there was a, yeah, it's like, if you have the requirements, then you get a 70-30 sub split. But only, like, a, <laughs> only, <laughs> only a handful of people actually, like, have that. And it's like, okay, I guess it's sort of a W, but not really, though. Yeah, or gifted subs, yeah. Like, I guess it's better than nothing, but it's still, it's still like, a scrape in the bottom of the barrel, basically. I don't know, Twitch is horrible, and uh, they're, they're, like, throttling my stream, too, on top of everything, because I can't even, can't even stream on Twitch now, basically. I don't know what's going on, but the last two streams, uh... So, when I started my stream on Thursday on Twitch... There's some weird like distortions happening. It seemed it seemed like an encoding issue, I think. I mean, I'm not an expert, but. And then I was like, okay, so the audio I think the audio was messed up and the actual stream was messed up, so I restarted OBS. And it, it seemed to be fixed. And then today I go to start stream on Twitch and it's like I can't stream there because I restarted my stream twice. And every time it was still broken. So. So now, like, I can't even stream there, man. Okay, we have enough uh, poison bloom. Where's our toxic mushrooms here? It's very annoying to farm for these. Uh, the Twitch stories. Mmm. Maybe. 
I don't know. Dude, it is. it literally is Twitch's fault. There's no way around it at this point. It messes up three times today on Twitch, and then I stream on YouTube, and it's perfect. It's... It is Twitch's fault. I'm getting throttled over there or something, dude. Uh, Ivan, how's it going, dude? I appreciate that. I'm not going to lie, though. At least Twitch sort of seems to be going in a better direction, though. Like, based on some of the updates I've heard from the TwitchCon announcements or whatever. Like, obviously, being able to simultaneously stream on platforms, I, like, they seem to be growing... A brain. At least a, a, a fragment of a brain over there. So. It's at least in a better direction. It's actually, it's common sense. Like, people should just be able to stream to wherever they want to. But. Like, at any point in time. And it probably didn't have the effect that they thought. They were probably just trying to, like, make it so that streamers were kind of, like, forced into only streaming on Twitch. But it's like, well, things aren't going so hot right now. So I guess we should just give in. I wonder if that, I wonder, it, pro it probably has very little to do with kick, I would assume. But I, I don't fucking know, man. I'm sure there's, it's at least part partially because of that. It's like, oh yeah, now people are like only streaming on kick. And so I, I there's probably a very small number of people for that though, but I don't know. Well, there's another mushroom, but I thought there's the Kindred of Rot though. Like, doesn't he aggro? How far left is it? I guess I can get that. Maybe the first time I tried that, I was just really slow because I found I'm like, oh, Kindred of Rot aggro, no good. Insane efficiency increase. Yeah, I, I, it would make more sense that YouTube has more to do with it for sure. Um, like maybe I'm a decent, actually, a decent example of it. Although to be honest, I, I don't think me streaming on, on uh, YouTube impacts Twitch that much. But, but yeah, I've, I finally, I, I've, I've been wanting to stream on YouTube for a while, but I just, I didn't really have a reason, like a good reason to, until now, where it's now I can stream at better quality and uh like I I don't know that's the main reason that's the main reason why I started streaming on YouTube now well it's part of the reason because before my like garbage internet plus garbage PC <laughs> like it, it wouldn't I don't know that's the that's the main uh the main thing I was excited about streaming on YouTube for okay that's probably enough okay I got way too many whoops Yeah, I guess there's other things too, but. Okay, so we're gonna go four of those, five of these, three of these, or four. Which ritual pot don't I have? I probably actually bought this one. Maybe I didn't get the one in last year runes or whatever it's called. Any other easier ritual pot to get? I tried Lords of the Fallen. Oh, yeah, Pidia, true. Yep, that's the one. I'd rather just get this one instead, even though it's probably not faster, but...
really struggling in Demon Souls playing casually? Um, like struggling in what way? You're dying or you don't find it fun? I am definitely not a Demon Souls expert, so I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that magic OP. ES3 style master run. Are you saying an Elden Ring? How was that DS3 style though? Because like, of the bandit knife? In DS3 Master Run, I didn't really like. How many times would I have even used the bandit knife? No, I'm I'm not, dude. Th that's a common misconception that <laughs> you need to, you know, be some god at a game to no hit it. You cer certainly do not need to be. I'm sure most people in the chat right now who have done like, you know, a couple playthroughs of Demon Souls know way more about the game than I do. I would be certain of that. Just because I know hit it doesn't mean I know what's going on in that game. I really don't. Um. Like, outside of the no-hit stuff, I know nothing. Basically. Next to nothing about the game. Even my first playthrough was with a build that is very similar to what I use on no-hit. So. So, yeah, definitely, if, if you can do a no-hit run in a game, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you're like, you know a lot about it or, or even necessarily good at it. Like, I guess you could, you're good at it, probably, but it doesn't mean you're an expert, that's for sure. Okay, here we go, you guys. Um, yeah, and, and me and Demon Souls is a perfect example. I probably I have like 130 hours in that game total, and I've done one playthrough of it, and then the rest have just been no hit, and that's it. And and basically, all I know is the no hit route. Uh, mouse? Oh, cause, dude. Hucked by ER tool. Surely this will work. That's the case. Is Demon Souls a game where you can cheese every single boss? Um, yes. I'm trying to think if there's a single boss. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, Peanut, thanks for the donation, dude. Yeah, you can cheat. Like, just go watch my God Run 3 Demon Souls run. And, and like, you definitely know that's the case, too, because Demon Souls is the game that I had the least amount of time in, total, out of all the God Run 3 games, yet I had it as game six. Right? And, and like, if a run's as, as tricky as a run like Dark Souls 3 is, where you actually need to know the boss as well and and all that stuff, you're not putting a game that you have the least number of hours in as game six. It's, it's just simply because it's such an easy run when you can just cheese all the bosses. So that's it. Like, I, I cheesed every boss in that run, probably. I guess the only one, the only boss that I had to dodge an attack from was, I think, uh... Penetrator. Uh, I didn't get any Ur Tree Talisman. We got Redan's Rune. And that's it. That being said, though, I actually still really like the game. Actually, Demon Souls is... My first playthrough of that game, I found really fun. And it was one of my favorite first playthroughs, probably. 
And and maybe that was partially because it's it's probably just like the easiest game, right? Especially using the build I did. The gods demand S spamming magic. <laughs> Buff up your coin. All of it. This is actually a really nice strat, man. This is this is a nice strat. All the Demon Souls runs for God Run 3 to get hit by boss? Not by boss. I did lose a run in game 4 Demon Souls to a, a running section where basically a, the strat I was using wasn't correct. And it, I, I didn't know it was inconsistent. But no, I, I'm very consistent at no hit Demon Souls because it's just it's such an easy run. It it is it is the easiest no hit run of the Souls games for sure. Undoubtedly. But like and I, I did find a lot of strats as well that um that made it so easy because it's an old game, right? So there's a lot of ways to cheese it, and I found a lot of really nice strats. I guess the the main one was the uh man eaters cheese that i found at just that's the hardest boss in the run and i made it just trivial basically so i'll give myself a little bit of credit but but yeah the, the run's very easy this fight might look like it's easy to this point except it's kind of not Starts out easy. Sorta. Uh, so we need some sleep arrows. With the bow. I should probably turn on no dead for myself. Got something that is essential to this strat. Oh, and I forgot. Ro yeah, dude. I <laughs> True. That's not even what I was thinking of, but yeah, I did forget that. Let's, I mean, like, what's the point in continuing this now? Throwing daggers and glint blade phalanx, both essential to this strat. Imagine getting there on a live. Well, I guess if I got there on a live run, it wouldn't matter because I have so many extra. Oh. Nothing ruins my day like fucking Roger being a sleepyhead. Just wasting my time for no reason. Why do I have to rest 16 times before I can get your hands or get my hands on your gear, dude? Just rip it off of his body. Uh, Robin, thanks, dude. Um, a shield run should do spike palisade. Well, I, I. I did use that, um, I did use that on the run, but just, it wasn't the main shield because there's better options, but. Okay, so I like to put this on the spear. 
Obviously, I can't use a plus eight rapier. So, even though if you if you wanted to get really picky about this run, technically, even having that weapon in my inventory um, increases my character's max upgrade level stat. And so, like, I don't know. If you want to be super picky, then I shouldn't even be allowed to get that. But it has no effect on the actual run. Okay, now we're good. No, I, I put in my notes. I got in my notes. That's that's kind of the point of what I'm doing right now is to go through the run properly. Is there anything... We got the Ash of War equipped. I really... Dude, it would be nice to have some sort of fire reset. And the torch isn't really a good option for it. But I don't know what would be. Do we have everything now? Uh, Great Bow is really easy to get. Yeah, I, I thought there were a lot of enemies there, but you can just go straight up to the second level and then... Yeah, it's no problem. No, what I what I think would be ideal is another dagger. So that I could just dual wield. And it the reason to be nice, especially on a boss like Goldfree or or Godfrey, where I can uh dude, I really need my mouse for this. On a boss like Godfrey, where there's a lot of jump attacks, I can't, you know, if I'm not power stancing, I can't hit with the offhand weapon that has the fire damage. So So yeah, it's certainly not ideal. Yeah, if I was power sensing, then I could reset the fire in midair and it would just, you know, save a hit, basically. And yeah, for the dagger, I could basically, I, I could just spam normal R1s with frost and then only on the hit where I need to reset fire, I can do an L1 where I get the reset plus an extra frost hit. It just, it, it would just be better. Why does the camera do this?
Um, okay. Probably gonna get roll. There it is. I, I believe this the rolls on a timer. I remember during the fist run, I, I think I first noticed that. Why did I not make more grease, dude? Like, what am I doing? I guess we can rot him, but he, he doesn't even have enough health to, tr to bother rotting, I don't think. There's not really enough health left on the boss, but... I'm just gonna get some distance. Hopefully my muscle memory kicks in here. I'm on that practice I did on this guy.
should probably roll away from that to bait out the fireball. Is res resistance to poison at this point so high, dude? Should not have done that. Clean fight, dude. Clean fight. Yeah, that's a... How good is that strat, dude? That is such a nice strat. Like, that's huge that we've got that boss consistent now. Uh, Peanut, thanks for the donation again, dude. I appreciate that. Imagine doing all this, getting this far in the run, and then <laughs> missing bird skip. Be so funny, dude. Yeah, I should have gone with like I, I should have made more bleed resins though. I need to remember to craft stuff before fights, dude. No, this isn't an actual time. We're just going through the entirety of the route. Um, it's all looking really good so far, dude. I'm excited to do this run. Yeah, I can I could be fighting the godskins a bit more aggressively than I was there, but I I'm pretty comfortable doing how I did it there. I think. I don't think I'd really change much about it. It's especially nice, too, that we don't get, get to see that much Apostle, because Apostle is way more complicated than the Noble is. Even if there's no, like, Belly Slam or whatever. I mean, we, we barely even saw a Phase 2 Apostle there. like, Which is interesting, because last time I think I did that, I saw way more Phase 2. I wonder what could have... Pause that actually. Apostle probably is harder than Millennia, yeah. I I would 100% agree with that. Oh, dude, I I need my keyboard for this, and I can't because ER tool. Well, I probably don't need it, but I would like it. Uh, you can do, uh, actually, does exclamation mark song work here? You can try it. I got that set up on Twitch, but I'm not sure if I set it up on... Oh, okay, let me actually... <laughs> That's funny. Let me set that up here. The gods demand repentance! Uh, presumably, All of it. yeah, this should still work. The 
insane delayed notification. Okay, you can try the song command now. Who's my favorite boss? Um, I think on the tier list in Elden Ring, my favorite boss is Malekith. It might be on a cooldown, actually. There's a one minute cooldown. Oh, see, there we go. Just took it a while. One thing I, I wouldn't mind practicing, just making sure I'm quick enough on my fast fast travels to, you know, in case I mess up any part of this strat, that I can just, you know, get out in time. Like, I, I, I cannot remember the last time I missed this, so it's such an easy skip. <laughs> Market harder than Millennia. I don't know about that. No, I mean Apostle Apostle is not a harder boss than Millennia overall. But if you're only factoring in the move set, I would say that Apostle's probably harder to, to master. Like I, I'm I definitely have not mastered the Apostle fight at this point. Probably not the Millennia fight either, but Yeah, I think Apostle's a trickier fight. Way less intuitive probably as well. Okay, well, you know what I'll do? So, we need five poison pots for Gideon, I believe. And then we need two rot pots. Which, what am I missing? Oh my god, the Ur- Dude. Okay, well, that's fine. So now I can comfortably make quite a few of these. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the fireball bait. Same with the noble, honestly. Like, if you just sit at long range, you know, bait out one attack, run away, and then just bait out a fireball, it, it's such an easy fight. It's insane. Yeah, that's true. That's why I've never I've never had any issues with Apostle, really. Actually, I guess when I did the first level 1 plus 0, I got stuck on the Kalo Apostle for a bit, but... That was before I knew that just fireball bait, and that's what I've kind of always done on all the other runs, is just bait fireballs out on him all day long. Yeah, to actually fight him properly, it's it's a whole different story. Which I've only just started to, like, learn a bit. I don't even know if Rod is worth it in this phase, but I guess I'll do it. I do like the... Like, the Apostle is, is a cool boss, though, and I, I like the Noble as well. I think I probably like the Apostle better. Um... I think the Noble is just... I don't know, maybe I just don't know how to fight the Noble properly, but I, I it feels like the Noble fight's more passive. I, I don't like so much. Yeah, Noble's the thick one, yeah. The fat Walmart mom is what I call the, the, the Noble. The person who goes on like a motorized cart through Walmart with their like Diet Coke. And there are like three kids who are also in a motorized cart. We just got McDonald's. Also, probably like running over everybody's toes and just not apologizing, just just trying to cause chaos. Oh, Jesus, dude! It's a horrible roll.
kind of just waiting for the statuses to like take their course here. See, I feel like this fight's a kind of a good example of how Poison Moth Flight, it kind of doesn't, I don't know. It's really just not that useful on this run, dude. That's why I, I was almost just not going to get it. If, if I didn't find the Knight's Cavalry Cheese, I probably would stop getting it because, I don't know, it's, it's such a pain to actually manage it, to, to make it do as much damage as possible on this run, it's very tricky to do because you have to pay so much attention to the boss's statuses and when they're going off. And when you have, you know, three statuses active at once on a boss, frost, poison, plus rot, you know, the, the poison tick, in order to optimize it, okay, so for people who don't know, poison moth flight, when an enemy is poisoned and you use this on them, it'll do, I forget the exact amount of damage, but it's basically a percentage plus like, 250 damage or some, something like that. Like maybe it's 3% plus 250 damage. And that it doesn't matter when in the poison proc you use it, right? So to, to absolutely maximize each poison proc, you would want to use Moth Flight at the last possible moment. Okay, 5% plus 250. Yeah, you want to use it at the last possible moment. And, uh, and so, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to manage that, actually. I'm just here for some... I don't know where the bird leaf flowers are, but I don't know how I have so few. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure there's some along this path here, though. Maybe there's some in the church, actually. Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, there's also a mushroom there. Well, uh, this route's looking really good, you guys. Every Everything's looking really good. At this point, it's more just... And getting good at the bosses, dude. And being consistent at them. That's what it comes down to now. Our gods can do what was clean. Uh, we've made some... I, I have to practice Loretta, dude. I think Loretta might be the toughest boss for me on this run. She's honestly just brutal. But yeah, the, the route looks great, dude. I also, what I did test too on Gold Free, I tested uh, the, the twin straight sword build. So on Loretta, I tested a build where I put, put lightning slash on two straight swords. And then it did, did it like that. The damage per hit was really high. And the DPS was also insanely high, but it kind of, because I need to upkeep two buffs on the two weapons, it's kind of annoying. I also tested, tested it on Gold Free, and it was surprisingly worse. And I, I think the reason is because the Repost does so much damage on him, and the Twin Swords don't really stun him as much as the Axe R2s do. So, so that is something I tested. I'm pretty excited for DLC, yeah. M mainly, I'm excited to to do no hit runs with DLC and just runs, like just challenge runs with the DLC included. I've played Elden Ring since it came out, yeah. I guess I can speed up the game. There's no reason why I need to wait for this. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I put 110. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm expecting the DLC. Um, also, a lot of people are talking about the DLC is going to be February 3rd or something like that. I, I've seen that a few times. Um, I guess we'll, we'll see, but... I'm expecting the DLC to be 
by far the biggest one that they've ever released. And... Oh yeah, I did way less damage there, didn't I? Oh man. Okay, well we know how this works. There's no like there's no reason to sit here and wait. I've done this on many runs. Um but what was I saying? Yeah, no, apparently what what I've heard is that they were init initially going to release two DLCs. But then, you know, some plan changed. They ended up releasing the arena update on its own. Which, if you look at the previous games, usually they release the arena with the first DLC. That's usually what they do. Um, and then, so yeah, like, I guess what people are thinking is that they're going to combine both of them. And make some gigantic DLC, so... I guess we're, we're going to find out. That makes sense to me. And, and they, as we know with FromSoft, they don't like to change things, right? We all know that. Their games have basically been the same... For the past decade or more all the same mechanics all the same um and you know it's more than just the game that they like to keep the same they do the same stuff over and over and over again and i assume like so basically what i'm saying is you can kind of assume their patterns are gonna repeat and that's that's what i think will happen again i think they're gonna you know or that's why that story makes sense, that they released the arena update because maybe the DLC was taking a bit too long. And... And yeah, that's what I think. How big was the DLC compared to the normal game? It was probably... It combined... It was probably what? Like... Maybe... 15... 20%? Or maybe that's too small, I don't know. Does that sound about right? DS3 DLC was about... 20% of the base game size or something like that. But I mean, if... Like, if it's the same in this game, <laughs> then, like, 25% is huge considering how big this game is, right? I'm not doing a run today, no. I gotta get some rest. Probably. My my girlfriend has COVID, and I, I've had a sore throat for the past, like, maybe five days, but I haven't actually gotten it yet. And I, I don't think I will. Like, five days is kind of a long time. But uh, I probably should rest, though, today. Um... I, you know what I meant to do? I meant to test out the lightning axe on some of the other fights, but I never did. Uh, War, thanks for the donation, dude. The best and the worst covenant farm? Well, if you're talking... If you're talking, like, offline, probably the worst... Probably the... I, I don't know. Like, some of them are really bad. Obviously, the Concord farm is really bad, but then also the Shackle farm is really bad. But the best one is easily the Pale Tongue one. Because you don't need as many, and they're also just a way higher drop rate. And you can pick more of them up around the world, so... I was actually having some issues with this boss last time. Yeah, Shackle or Concord are both really bad. Like, it just, they, they all take so much time, dude. I, I guess even the... What's the other one? The Aldrich Faithful one? Like, even that one, dude. I feel like that took a while on when I did all achievement no hit. Yeah, I was having some issues on this fight last time because of his roar in phase two. It's so annoying. Why does this boss love walls? How do so many bosses in Souls game love walls so much?
No, dude. The reason I don't use bleed as much on this run is, is it's simply because we kind of need a grease, right? We need the grease to make it effective. Where chilling mist is just it's so it's so strong, and even when an enemy has their their resistance built up to it, like you got the buff, you got the big mist that they stand in that does a ton of frost. It just it's so good. Oh! I wasn't paying attention, clearly. Whoops. I just rolled too early somehow. It would not be fun to lose a run to, <laughs> to this boss, dude. Now, Blood Flame Blade, I can't use, first of all, but even then, it's still like a buff I gotta put on. Much less convenient than... Killing Mist is. And most runs last year. Well, I guess, but it's also kind of different. It was mostly, like, I think it was just mostly because the timings are, are a lot different with different weapons on him. In phase two. Like, I don't know if I lost a run in phase one. Also, like, mid-rolling, that's... Maybe now that we have the filigreed, I, I shouldn't be as hesitant to just use the Ash of War. But see, what I like to do is use the Rot, like whenever the Rot expires. It's sort of a, that's a good... Time indication that I should be, you know, rocking that poison. What's
I should have just done it there. Well, actually, I guess it's probably good I didn't. Even though he, he's going to transition here. Please. Oh, again, dude. That's so annoying. I can't believe that happened again, where it's like... The hit puts him over the threshold, and then my actual... Oh. Motherfucker, dude. And then my actual... Uh... Like, Moth Flight doesn't work, and so, that, like, just like that, minus 1,500 damage, basically. So annoying. Yeah, I think this fight is a lot trickier in this phase, because of that, that scream. Even there, like, if he screamed, I might have not been able to get away in time. It's more about just, like, being, you know, efficient on your punishes so that you don't get caught... Yeah, basically, you just don't get caught. Right there. That was too many hits, I think. Um... That's not fast enough. Yeah, there's... <laughs> okay, that's good to know. I'm not sure when I can actually get that off in this phase. Oh yeah, true. I'm not using the longsword. Actually, probably use one. Yeah, I'm not sure when I can get off Moth Flight in, in Phase 2, actually, even, dude. Um, Maybe the grab. Probably the grab it's safe. That might be the only thing. Only attack where that's safe. Okay. Won't do any damage past Godfrey's max HP. Are you sure? I guess maybe. Um, again, I'm... Oh, that actually totally is why. Or it's part of the reason. I guess we also have the filigree talisman, which is adding more weight. But yeah, we definitely want to be light rolling on, on most of these fights. I guess on Radagon, it doesn't matter too much.
Radagon is is definitely uh, one of the tougher fights. Actually, Radagon probably is the hardest fight on this. How do you get out of fast hammer swing after teleport without light rolling? I don't know. <laughs> Just no, you can outspace it. Like as I, I'm pretty sure, I don't really fight him much if I'm light rolling, but. Or not light rolling, but I'm pretty sure if you just if you're always backpedaling in the fight. Maybe you don't get away. I don't even know, dude. Usually Radagon dies too fast. Problem. Yeah, I, I think the only way I could possibly imagine is you just have to be constantly backpedaling to try to outspace it, but. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, I shouldn't have used the physic yet. That was kind of a mistake, but it actually it's fine. With, with, um, for Dan's great rune, we have enough stamina to do a full black flame tornado, so. Yeah, this is where the fight definitely gets tricky, dude. That was maybe a little questionable if that was safe or not. Okay, let's go with... I don't know why I didn't roll that. I was just looking at it. I this is definitely a fight I need to practice more, and it's it, it's not his move set. It's it's recognizing the distances on the teleport better. That's that's all this fight comes down to. One hundred percent is all it comes down to. Is like, oh, okay, well. Because the thing is, if, um, actually, I guess I can just fight him again. Although it's probably end soon. But yeah, the thing is, like, if, if you're, you know, if he does the teleport and you're out of range and you roll it preemptively, then you can get roll caught by his, uh, his light projectile attack. Like, you will get roll caught by it. Y you can jump the teleport, can you? I've never thought about that. I'm, I'm sure it's a spherical hitbox. There's, well, I'll try it. <laughs> like, you probably can't. Probably like an Estelle attack where it looks like you can jump it, but you just can't. 
Oh, you can. But I guess he, I don't know. You just get hammered out of the air though, if, if, I don't know. Whoops. Yeah, it's not jumpable. Yeah. Motherfucker. That's not fast enough. Why do I not have no death on? It was almost fast enough, but not quite. I wonder what I got hit by there. So we actually do need the we do need on the on the long sword instead. We put it on the short sword too. Maybe that's even better. I think you know what? That's probably what I did last time, and I'm sure the short sword is weighs less than long sword. Um, yeah, we won't need as many blue flasks here just because we've got, uh, the filigree talisman, which is nice. Yeah, we, I, I definitely just have to practice all these bosses and especially, um, a lot of times I've been dying is just because I go for something that isn't safe, like that chilling mist I just did. So I need to be 100% certain every time I use something like Chilling Mist that it's going to be safe. Did I make a save this time? I don't know. Yeah, I got I got Tornado. On my spear. I do think Radagon's a really fun fight, though. I just, I wish he didn't... I, I feel like his teleport having a hitbox is kind of unnecessary. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoops. I feel like his hitbox, or his teleport having hitbox is kind of, like, especially a big one, is a little unnecessary. How is it so hard to fucking two-hand a weapon in this game, dude? I'm really going to try to just spam Chilling Mist. There's no reason to not just spam it.
Ah, see, like right there, it, you know. Unfortunate. <laughs> no, my poison. Ah, uh, motherfucker. It's going so well. Yeah, one thing that makes this fight hard, too, is all the visual obstructions that are going on. Like, I wonder if they intended that. They're like, yeah, we're going to make this fight way harder by making it so that you just can't see anything. I really like that Black Flame Tornado, you, you can really control like how long you do it for. Like, I think that makes it a cool Ash of War. There's, there, I, I don't know how many different durations there are, but it's, it feels like there's a lot. Just, I, I really do not want to get caught, you know, close range needles and not having a lot of stamina. So I think just doing this kind of like shorter one, I say as I nearly catch myself there. Why did they make the tracking on that so good? I just don't understand. Just don't understand it, dude. Is where that green turtle talisman comes in and Redan Great Rune comes in. Is like that's a lot of stamina I need to get away from that right there, right? A three piece combo plus all that other shit going on. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to start walking it. I don't know if it's actually better, but I feel like it doesn't matter. It's probably not even worth punishing that one. It's wasting my FP.
It's not, like, I guess the only reason to actually hit him is to try to upkeep some, like, poise damage that probably isn't even... Like, he's, he's at max poise right now. Now, the reason I say Redan, honestly, is because I think it sounds better. I think it sounds better than Radon. Like, that just sounds not good to me. Makes me think of, like, some fucking laundry detergent or something, dude. Like, yeah, you're re-washing your clothes. I'm going to redon my clothes. Okay, this would be bone out here, probably. We're too close for this to be safe. I think. Hey, just kidding. I guess I got away in time. If you're, I'm pretty sure I needed to actually test so much more of Elden Beast Neil's attacks, but it be close enough here. But I think if you're too close on that attack and you react too slowly, I'm pretty sure it's just unsurvivable. But maybe not. Kill him. Yeah, Elden Beast is not bad. Um, Radagon's tough, though. I was cut. Well, Cuck is just funny. That's, that's it's not it's about your camera angle. <laughs> really? Why no Black Flame? Uh, because we don't have access to it, right? But yeah, Black Flame would be good on Fire Giant. It'd be good on uh Redan. It'd be good on where else? Anybody else? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you could make it work on a lot of bosses, but. Because we're doing no stat boosting, we can't use the healer, so. So, yeah. Just not get Poison Moth Flight. Well, maybe, I guess. It's it's a free pickup now at this point, though. And it's basically just on the way. So, I, I think I'll... Yeah, I don't know. I need to not be so worried that it's going to run out and, like, force force an attack that's not safe. I think that's the main thing. But, yeah, there's there's a lot I need to, to test before I feel like I'm ready to go for this run. The needles on, on Elden Beast, I need to make sure I'm not going to get hit by that. I need to get better at Radagon's teleport. Like, I just identifying how far he is away from me and if I have to roll it or not. Um, Malekith, I feel fine. Gods can do all. I just I just have to practice them a bit, but I feel pretty good about them actually. Fire giants, fire giant, Morgoth, it's fine. Old free, fine. I did actually go into Rikard and like refresh myself on when it was safe to start the loop in phase two, so I figured that out. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I guess we're we're nearly ready to go on this. I think nearly. But I think I'm going to end for today, guys. Short stream today. But, uh... But, yeah, no, we're almost ready to start this, man. I'm pretty excited about this run, I think. I, I don't know how long it's going to be. My in-game time right now on this character is 422. I feel like that's probably not accurate, but... <laughs> no, there's no way it's that long, right? It'll probably be three and a half is my guess, because we gotta go to Lake of Rot. We gotta, you know, long boss fights. Go down. I guess, you know, I guess it could be four hours, dude. Gotta go all the way down to get the Black Wet Blade. Yeah, maybe it will be four hours. That's a long run, man. Could you imagine this run all bosses, dude? Holy shit, dude. That is something I would like to, you know... I would like to do that at some point, maybe. I think that'd be cool. But anyways, uh, have a good night, you guys. I think I'll be back on tomorrow as well, assuming I, I don't get sick. But I've just had like a tiny sore throat for the last five days. And I think that's probably the extent of the COVID all experience here, so. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I don't know if it'll be longer than 27 hours, all bosses, but it damn well might be. Dude, what are these raid, <laughs> these raid links going on? I gotta charge them for the extra, extra links, dude. But anyways, uh, have a good one, you guys. I'll see you all uh, next stream, which 
it might end up being on on YouTube if, if Twitch keeps messing up. So, um, so yeah, I guess we'll see. But yeah, I guess the best way to know where I'm going to be streaming is just joining the Discord. I think there's a Discord command. That's the best way to know. Is all actually, you know what? I didn't even put I'm going live in Discord today on YouTube because it was a fiasco. But, but anyways, uh, have a good one, you guys. I'll see you all uh, next stream.